Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Nick Ross here with Body of Legends. Now, this is just going to be a quick update on what's going on with me because my life has pretty much changed within the last, I'll say, week, week and a half, two weeks, um, for the better and for the worse. So, I'm not sure this video is going to be five minutes long, ten minutes long. I'm going to have to split up into two parts. Um, I have a few things I do want to say, so I don't want to drag on for like 20 minutes talking, so I might break it up. But I'm um, just going to give you guys a general summary, not going to really go into too much detail. But... You know, first of all, the girlfriend and I split um, after a year, and, a, a year and a few months. You know, we decide that our lives are just going two different paths. There's certain things that I want to do and I want to accomplish that, you know, it's kind of getting in the way, I guess you can say. And, you know, it is what it is. It's unfortunate. And like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but, you know, we're maintaining friendship. Um, you know, she can come to me. She can call me, you know help her with whatever she needs and you know of course vice versa so I guess I'm say we left on a good note you know and I'll leave it at that you know anything further than that is personal and I don't really want to get into um, but yeah that's the first thing guys second thing is that a lot of you guys don't know but I do live on an island Grand Cayman Cayman Islands and I've been working very hard on the Body of Legends clothing line now a lot of people are going to say, oh, you know, everyone's doing clothing on YouTube and, you know, it's like nothing different. But you have to understand where I am right now, okay? I'm on an island. No one, and I mean no one, provides any kind of real fitness clothing or fitness motivation or anything. I mean, we have like three gyms on island. Three gyms, you know, four if you count a little express gym. Um, so fitness down here is not that big. Um, a gym, clothing, anything regarding fitness supplements, it is very small there's a small group of people who go to the gym small group of places you can go to buy protein powder um, small group of places where you can go to buy fitness clothing so I'm really trying to work on expanding body of legends clothing line in the Cayman Islands um, so I made a purchase of a, a you know like a hundred you know different shirts and tank tops um, I speak to the owner at the local gym he said he would carry my line that's awesome um, the clothing should have been here on Friday, which was yesterday, did not arrive. You know, certain things happened with the order that just kind of held up a little bit. So I'm really looking forward to it coming next week, hopefully Monday. Today's Saturday, so Monday, if not, definitely Tuesday. Um, really want to see how the material is, how the screen printing came out, you know, everything. So I'm very excited for that. That's probably a really big thing that I'm focusing on right now, just pushing the clothing line down here. Um, because let's be honest, I mean, there's no competition down here for me when it comes to um, you know, somebody else trying to rival me for the market. You know, it's just an open market. Um, so it's a good opportunity, it really is. I mean, I have the online store. The link is all in the description if you guys want to check out the clothing. You know, why not push that a little bit more? And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, you know, people might say, oh, Nick, you're becoming a sellout and whatever. All I'm trying to do is focus on the things that I love in my life. You know, bodybuilding, fitness, um, my education, you know, family, the things that I enjoy, the things that I feel passion for, I'm really trying to push that more than just live an ordinary and average life. So I'm really pushing the clothing line and I'm very excited to have the first order here. I really want to see how the market is because it's a very small place, population of 50,000 people total, 50,000 people, that's like nothing. So, you know, I mean, it, it could do good, it could do bad. I don't know that, but I'm going to try it out. I'm seeing... Um, if I could really influence people here, man. I really want to motivate and inspire people here to want better for their lives. A lot of young kids are coming up now. They're not really into the best things in the world. You know, when it comes to like hobbies and interests, I mean, they're just, you know, they're, they're so fresh and they need something to kind of just take them and encourage them and motivate them and kind of guide them in a sense. And I kind of want to be that kind of person for the next generation. Um, so that's what's going on with, I guess, Body of Legends and the clothing line. Um, number three, you guys know I'm going to school. Um, I've been in school since 2013. I took two semesters off to prep for my show last year, FitCon. Kind of held me back a little bit, but it was still worth it to me because I really wanted to compete. That's what I did. Um, I have an opportunity right now to... I wasn't even going to say this, but I'm going to say it. I mean, I'm not even sure is it going to happen. I'm not sure if it's real yet, but... I have the opportunity to go away to the UK to further my education there. Um, like I say, it's not set in stone, but 
you know, I applied for the government scholarship. Um, talked to a lot of people. They said I'll probably get it because, you know, my, my GPA is pretty decent. So, you know, I'm not hoping on it. I'm not expecting it to happen. But I might possibly be making the move over to the UK, the next side of the world, um, for, you know, purpose of education. I mean, you know, YouTube is awesome. You know, fitness and bodybuilding. I mean, people would people might see this as my career. You know, just... You know, being that kind of, you know, influential person in the Cayman Islands and just overall, you know, general in the whole world to possibly make a living off of this. But I have to be real with myself, man. I need a plan B. I need a game plan. I need some kind of backup in case things don't work out. You know, um, YouTube can one day disappear. The site can crash. Something can happen. You never know. Some Someone can hack the site, delete everyone's account. Um... And I definitely don't want to be working the job that I'm working right now for the rest of my life. Just mediocre. I'm not going to do that. So I really want to set myself up and give myself the best opportunity that I possibly can give myself in order to be good in my life or at least um, decent when it comes to just, you know, money and how I live and um, my opportunities and my success and also me influencing people because people are going to see me and they're going to see, oh, well, you know, this guy did it. This guy did this and did that and he's able to accomplish this and that and he came from Nyland and that's very encouraging and I want to do it also because he showed me that it's possible um, so you know I mean I, I know a lot of people actually came to me saying Nick you know education is not important you know you don't need to go to school you know you're so into this fitness and bodybuilding thing and you're actually doing pretty decent for yourself you know from that and you know people kind of expect me to just gravitate towards focusing on that and kind of maybe opening up a gym and all these things and you know it's not something that I want to do right now so like I said I'm going to keep to myself and I'm going to do what I think is right for my life and the path that I'm on right now is a path that I choose to take so like I say it's not set in stone it might happen it might not happen it might take six months it might take a year I have no idea but that is a possibility that is in the future um, so that's what's going on uh, you know, YouTube, I'm going to talk about the channel right now. YouTube is a game changer. You know, it really is a different kind of life that I didn't even knew existed two years ago. Um, you know, I'm just this guy who started making videos on YouTube and I just wanted to show my progress. I just wanted to be able to, you know, 10 years from now, I wanted to look back and see where I was and where I came from. That's what I first started YouTube doing. I wasn't making no money off of YouTube when I first started. I was, you know, it took me a year to even see a dollar out of YouTube. You know, I started YouTube just off of what I love and my passion. And by doing videos and editing videos, I found I actually enjoy that. You know, that's very enjoyable to me. And, you know, the more I got into it, the more people started following me, the more people started hitting me up, saying, Nick, you're so motivational, you're so inspirational. You know, you're encouraging me, keep up what you're doing. I didn't expect to get feedback like that. I did not. Like I say, man, it was just, you know, per personal reason for me wanting to just continue to track my progress. Instead of just photos on Facebook, I could do videos by posing, of course, and my workout and my weights that I was lifting at the time, all those cool things. But YouTube has just grown so much for me. It really has just evolved into something that I did not even think was possible. And I feel very privileged for that. Even though I'm only at the, like, 6,000... Uh, 300 subscriber, subscriber range is nothing to talk about. It's nothing big and major. To me, it's an accomplishment, okay? Uh, so I feel very good about that. You know, I have people where I live coming to me saying, Nick, man, I want to start a YouTube channel. What are you doing is so great. Um, I want you to help me figure out how to, you know, do the editing and what camera I should buy and, you know, how to uh, promote my videos. You know, people are coming to me for that and I feel good about it. You know, I never thought I would be the kind of person that people would come to for advice for motivation for anything because I mean I just thought you know I live this average lifestyle I worked out whatever it wasn't anything big but you know people seem to like it so you know I just feel so appreciative and uh, privileged to have the opportunity that I do have you know I don't think this video is too long I mean I'm not timing it or anything but I guess it's like seven or eight minutes so no need to split it up Try, really try to keep things in general and to the point and I think I, I accomplished that uh, you know 
I feel good where I am right now in my life and I'm not sure what tomorrow is going to bring or I'm not sure what the future is going to hold but I am I guess today looking forward to everything so this has been Nick Ross by the Legends guys tune in to the next time thank you all so much bye bye